All right. Howdy. Devin Townsend. After two or three years of getting my proverbial together, I'm ready to announce the next uh, bout of touring. This is volume one of the Empath Tour Cycle. So both my prior bands, Strapping Young Lad, Devin Townsend Project, uh, were hugely important to me, both of them. Yet I, as a musician, have tended to be very transient in what it is that I am trying to do. What had started happening with my prior bands is uh, there's a lot of computers. There's a lot of backing tracks. There's a lot of click tracks. There's a lot of things being synced up. I was starting to become uh, more divorced from the actual act of playing music. I decided to sort of pull the plug on that tether to backing tracks and to click tracks. One thing is going to be Empath in its entirety in 2021. And when I say that, I mean it's going to be with the three drummers that were on the album and the uh, choirs and the orchestras and that entire record done uh, absolutely the way that I feel it should be with the production values. And then the second thing that I'm leading to is I want to have the right band, the right sound, the right musicians to play my back catalog perfectly. And the idea is that every tour I do on this Ampath cycle is something unique. It's not the same thing every time. So what I decided to do was get together a group of, uh, for the most part, really seasoned veteran musicians whose lineage of output has a lot to do with improvisation. Uh, on guitar, the prerequisite was not really anything other than somebody who is seasoned, somebody who is improvisational, and uh, Mike Keneally. He helped me with the co-production aspect of Empath. So I'm thrilled to be able to include uh, Mike Keneally on this run. Uh, I love him and he's an astounding musician. On drums, I kept coming back to somebody who was just a really good friend of mine. Morgan Ogren. Morgan Ogren is the drummer. He's done a lot of things. He was with Zappa as well and Frederick Thordendahl and, and uh, he was on Casualties of Cool. And um, Morgan is just so adept at reading the room and being able to sort of feel things out. Um, for bass, uh, for this tour, I've uh, uh, chosen to work again with Nathan Navarro. Who is um, uh, the bass player who played on uh, a lot of the Empath record. He improvises really well and um, he can really hold it down. Throughout my career, I have worked with uh, the female vocalists primarily because as a vocalist, I'm very concerned about being able to articulate the emotional content of the music in the most uh, comprehensive ways possible. And clearly, I have a male voice. I uh, have developed over the years uh, an incredible kinship with Che, who sings in Casualties of Cool. To have somebody that is from a different genre be able to articulate um, a lot of this type of music in the ways that she does makes uh, her the ideal person for me to include in this group of touring. I got an email from uh, Diego, who is the uh, keyboard player in Haken. And he says, if you need a keyboard player, I'm formally offering my services. Then when I got together with him to start rehearsing, I recognized the depth of his musicality, plus our uh, mutual interest in like dark ambient music allows me to uh, trust that when we go to these improvisational spots and when we go to these sort of places that every night can be completely different, uh, he can wield that with a type of authority and technical acumen that I think is, is essential. So I met recently through a mutual friend uh, a guitar player in uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. 
and we went out on a, a social get together. I had no awareness of his music, and then when I looked him up, he's involved with avant-garde classical and string quartets and ambient music and looping things. And I started thinking, wow, what if his function was to not necessarily play guitar, but to do uh, all those things that I had originally done on the record with like keyboards and pads and loops. What if we had a guitar player make those live every night? And that allows me to take my guitar parts and bring back the level of like echoes and all that stuff that I had done and then clear up that front of house mix in a way that uh, is something that has always been elusive. For me, the opportunity to make these songs come to life in new ways with uh, musicians with this level of sort of pedigree uh, is incredibly exciting. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. See you there. Lights out. <laughs>